But we finna, we finna just go in on the one bro. Cause this bro, in my opinion, is the average black woman. God! <laughs> Her name is Ebony K. Williams. Oh my God. What, you know her? <laughs> I know. A lot of people on about. the internet know her. Now, you didn't know her before, did you? You ain't know that bitch. But you, the bitch said the truth of how she feel. Do you get this? Y'all don't miss this. The woman said the truth of how she feel. And what is that? And got fallout. Because this is what she said. The Iyana Van Sant lady, who is very intelligent, just listened to the bitch hang herself. Then she asked her, would you date a bus driver? I don't know if I sound like Iyana Van Sant. Let me try to do my Iyana Van Sant shit. Uh, you know how she sound, Marcus? Yeah. Oh, uh, you don't she know how she sound. sound like she just came. She just, she's, oh, she got that sultry. <laughs> what? Chris, she, it sound like she just came. She just came, like so, five seconds after the night. Right, five seconds. Yeah. Would you date a bus driver? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Craig shit is accurate. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. sound like she just came and she recovering. Like yeah. normally she'll be like, would you get me a rag? Wipe <laughs> no. me off. Right. Instead, she said, would you date a bus driver? I like her. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what's crazy like about this story? Well, go ahead. Her mother is a bus driver. The girl? Ebony Williams grew up in a single, fa a single parent home. Her mother was a bus driver. That's so listen to what she said as That's Yana scary. Van Sant answered that question. She, her response was, if he drives the bus, I mean, if he owns the bus. What? Now it ain't nothing wrong with the bitch no, said. That's her, that's bitch, look, thing. you hustle men. That's what you do. This when it start going even worse. Cause uh -oh. when she said, if he owns the bus, it was a lot of people saying, they was writing in saying, oh, you bogus for even saying that and thinking like that. 50,000 people. Right, 50,000 people did. So she tried to clean it up. And how could you do that? Double down. Everything she said dug her deeper in the hole. She started talking about everybody and what everybody else is settling for and talking about, oh, that's, um, basically she said, that's white supremacy if you settle for a bus driver. That's basically wow. what she said. What? That's basically what she said. Hmm. I gotta say something about it. Before Corey gets into it and says something, I discuss about this in my live stream as well about Ebony K. Williams. Her mother was a bus driver as well as being a single mother and raised her to go ahead and go to school at UNC. And then she went and got her undergraduate and then went ahead and got her law degree. So her mother went through the whole life cycle of being a single mother and putting her to college. And then she lived in that lifestyle. So like, like Corey said, she's living in her life truth but is she wrong or is guys are, are upset about the situation because she's a lost cause she is someone who's 40 years old and then she's has this level of understanding and thinking for the last 18 months because she's went through therapy so let's go through Corey's comments and continue now listen ebony first of all it was a lot of people caking for you oh she didn't mean it like that y'all stop caking stop caping for her man she meant what she said. And what proves that she meant what she said, because everything she said after that ain't do nothing but say something even worse. Yeah. A bus driver in the United States of America is a boss in most communities. 100 grand a year, full-time bus driver. That's a boss in yeah. most communities. Yeah, that's a good Anybody job. Got no money? Medical coverage for the whole family, everything. I'm yeah. talking about the people. Most bus drivers who I know currently right now is making between eighty to a hundred and ten thousand dollars a year with four hundred one k benefits and a pension. So I don't know or see anything that is broke or anything that looks down upon a bus driver. Let's continue. The people that everybody look down on ain't nobody. That's a glamorized picture of her. I seen how that bitch look at the Breakfast Club. She don't look like that. That's a made up picture of her. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Kevin Samuels is speaking from the grave on these hoes. 
Them hoes talk shit about him when he died, all them raggedy bitches. But he, his message still is relevant even more today because that bitch ain't said nothing about love. Man. Every answer she said was about something else but love. Man. The bitch ain't got no love in her heart. She the bitch pointing at everybody. Yeah, she don't want and I mentioned this also in my live stream as, as well, and I started to pause here, but this is where I warn fellas here to be careful who you date, who you decide to engage and get married to, when we say guard your heart and guard your wallet, because there was nothing about love. There was nothing about the man's integrity, about the level how he would treat her or his mother, or how he would go ahead and cultivate the household. It was only about his status, his job, and his title. But guys, we know the situation here. You were not your job, it's just what the money you make so let's continue she don't want love she ain't saying nothing about a nigga curve she like say it again uh if she didn't say anything about love she doesn't want it she don't want love sounds like she wants some sort of security and doesn't care how it goes down that's this, how i look at those women that use those old men this type it's of like, woman what are you, getting back? you know you don't care for that man yeah the moment that they really need the true looking after they out the door it's all about money and if that man yeah. What'd you say, Craig? So this yeah, type of market. this type of woman is incapable of love. She was raised in a single parent household. Her mother is a bus driver, and look what she thinks about bus drivers. This is a woman that hates women. She's putting all how she feels about her mother on men. There's a such thing as a diagnosis called parentification that some kids suffer for, from. When they come from single parent homes, a lot of times the mother has to put more pressure on the child by giving them adult responsibilities. And that causes it causes them to hold resentment towards the parent. This is clearly a woman that hates women and she's using men as a scapegoat because her that? mother, like you say, ran her father off, which in turn put her mother in a position position where she had less time to spend with her because she had to drive buses. Hence, she hates bus drivers. So this is a situation where she's doomed. She doesn't know how to love. She views things as being valuable and not people. And that's why she keeps talking about material things like money. Love and how money. everybody else is fucking up. Exactly. Marcus, go ahead. I know you want to say something, bro. Yeah, um, I think I feel like some people uh, raised on struggle and not love. They they don't. And when you raised on struggle and a lot of love, that's what you put your uh that's what you feel is, is value everything materialistic that's, that's that's value to you so when you see well most people most people that most people that's raised on i, I didn't say everybody did no but most you said raised on struggle go ahead yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm listening most people that raised on struggle feel that way they feel like since that there was there was lack of so in order to make up for that lack of that's what they see in other people and then they don't care about character and shit like that so they'll let motherfucker do them any kind of way or whatever just because that's what they looking for. That's what that's the that's the main goal. You know what I'm saying? They want wealth. But this, but, but but trust me, brother, the struggle is beautiful. Yeah. Shit. I wouldn't take back an ounce from my childhood. I remember when my mama stretched that welfare check that whole month. And it's very hard to stretch a welfare check for a whole month Man. when you got hungry, healthy kids. That's yeah. The struggle is beautiful. The struggle made me who I am today. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Because I see what happened to rich kids. They all grow up to be drug addicts for the most part. Mm -hmm. They grow up to be real fuck motherfuckers. People who grew up rich. Yeah. People used to make fun of me when I where I sent ice to school. Yeah, over there to that rich school? What do you mean? I'm saying one time he went to the rich school with the yeah. rich kids, right? No, if you call that rich, no, but it was an all it was in the hood, all black. I just had to have him yeah, have well, some flavor. Like, like, it was like, I can't have him around all this. He was already in that neighborhood where I'm we like live. like Marcus today. Am I yeah. wet under the arm yet? Sure. No, you wet under the neck. <laughs> 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 oh, hell, dog. Is it just me? No, it's your yeah. fat sweat. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> stop. <laughs> you got on a suit. I can feel the Look out, bitch. Did you see what he did? Look, he said. Yeah, he kept it tight. Look, ice pack, ice pack in the pocket. I can feel the heat. Your body this. wet all the way through, <laughs> boy. <laughs> your dick <laughs> smell like LeBron's after the game. <laughs> 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 You look like a fat LeBron in the face, though. You know what I'm saying? I look like LeBron. I look like Dr. Uber. Yeah. <laughs> Shit your crater face ass. But you know, it, back to Hunger, but at the end of the day, if she would have actually stuck to her, stuck to it and just kept it G yeah. and been like, 
It's That's almost what I'm like, saying. Just admit like you like, hustle men. Yeah. You a you a man hustler, bitch. You looking for the man who can come to you with man? Let me tell you something, man. I am a motherfucker who is fortunate enough to get some information from some dope people, and I want to tell y'all what I saw in this motherfucking text. This motherfucking text right here. You got to listen to this. Many women nowadays aren't looking for a husband. They're looking for a father replacement. And like children, their needs are all consuming. Oh, How wow. deep is that? You bitches don't want no man. You want a sucker. Because that's what a dad is for his kids. I ain't going to lie. For your kids, yeah. you be a sucker. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know your baby ain't going to grow up shit after you see the bitch you had it with. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers. Look, women. On that note here, we're going to stop the video because Corey's going to go on to another subject here. But what are your thoughts on the matter? Have you guys seen what Ebony K. Williams said in that interview of Ayanna Benzlat there? If not, you guys got to check it out in the grill. But I also discussed it on my live stream here as you go on my channel here. And the thing that I mentioned earlier is the fact that we shouldn't be upset by Ebony K. Williams. You know why? She, Like I said earlier, she is 40 years old. She is single. She was already married and admitted that she was a horrible wife, that her needs and her career outweighed her husband and her family. And, and, and only up until the last 18 months that she's gone through therapy and understood that maybe she wants a family and maybe she understands wifely duties. But hence, you see how she's talking now that she still needs more therapy because 18 months is not enough here because she was raised this way for basically 37 years of her life. So what's that mean, guys? as well as women who support us here, that women who move like this here, they're a lost cause. The only thing we need to do is call it out when they have the megaphone and can scream to the mountaintops to inflict on other women. But guys, we have to be in our grind. We have to be in our, our goals. We have to be 10 toes down in the mud and get ours because you know what? She's not changing. Women like this are not changing. But you know what though? If we're not checking for them, all they're going to do is get a dog and to die alone. And then they're going to be upset at us in the next 10 years when they're saying we're all the men at when you have made your wife's choices here. So they're not changing here. So fellas, do what you got to do here, because if they're moving this way here, we got to move the other way. Comment, like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification below. Let me know think about my commentary. What do you think about Corey Holcomb? Because he said a lot as well, the 5150 crew. But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world.